Hey guys, Nolan here. Today we got a video on working students and the expectation from the people offering the position. But before we do that, why not hit the subscribe button and the bell so you are notified the moment I upload new content, huh? And this week we're doing something different again in the comments, your favorite movie. Go. So, working student. In a previous video, I talked about what to expect when you become a working student, aka the slave. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen that video, there's a link right there and I'll link it down in the description. Definitely give it a check out. But today, I want to go a bit deeper into expectations from both parties the working student and the person offering the position. For those of you who don't know, I was offered a working student position. Hence the reason why I look burnt and dirty as hell. Really need to use sunscreen more often. But there are three expectations of the working student position. What the amateur expects going into the working student position. What the dinosaur trainers expect the working student to do. And then I'm gonna tell you what I got, which is right in the middle. So first thing, what the amateur expects. Your average amateur is going to expect that they're going to be riding how many horses a day? Right off the bat. Stalls? Ew. A working student doesn't have to do that. Turnout? Uh, no. I have to tack up my own horse? What are you talking about? What do you mean I only get to sit on the horse for a minute as I walk it back to the barn? This is the expectation from the typical amateur who wants to do the working student. From the moment they get on the property, they think they're going to be training horses. And the trainer's going to spend all their time focusing on them. Newsflash, trainer still has got to do the training of horses here. They're not here to babysit you. You're gonna have to spend some time proving yourself that you are capable of getting on these horses. That means bringing a horsey into the arena and hand walking it until the trainer is ready to take him. And you're probably not gonna get on horses until a couple weeks down the road. But the normal amateur doesn't see that. They go in thinking the big thing that they're gonna be trained to become the next pro without doing all the work that a pro actually does. Number two, what so many trainers expect from their working students. And most of these trainers are what I like to call dinosaurs. You know, they're a little old in their mentality. Thinking their working students are free labor. You know, like slaves. They think it's their loophole into getting staff for no pay. They're worked into the ground, usually miserable, because as the average amateur, you expect it so much, but they're not giving you much at all. But what it should be is what I got, which is exactly this. I'm there first thing in the morning with the rest of the team, trainer and staff. I help feed and turn out. I get a list of horses I am expected to have ready and take down to the trainer at the sand ring. In between that time frame, if I have empty space, I get to help those in the barn. That includes my mucking. As I get more comfortable with the structure and have proven myself, I'm allowed to get on horses and taking them back to the barn. As this progresses and I continuously prove myself, I will then be put on different horses to warm them up, which gives the trainer more opportunity to work on the training and get through more horses in a smaller amount of time, using up less energy on their end, while also giving us as the working student an opportunity to feel different horse types. And that's kind of what the working student should be. You shouldn't be driven into the ground. You also shouldn't have in your mind that you are a trainer 2.0. Main thing is with the working student, you are there to learn. Pretty much be a sponge and take in as much information as you can. While being under a trainer you respect and look up to. Because if you're not, it's not going to be a good experience either way. What is a working student in your eyes? Let us know down below. And don't forget your favorite movie. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, it's a little thing, but it really does go a long way. And if you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe button and join the Little Cruiser Guild yourself. We have new videos up every week for your entertainment, but also to make this horse world make a bit more sense. And that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys today. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I am Nolan Michael Cruz. I'll talk to you. See you. Ciao.